Okay, now, can we start now? Can we start? Yes, sir. Yeah, better we start right now. Okay, time is just uh, uh, moderator. Well, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Alhamdulillahilladzi hadana lihadza wa kunna linhtadiya laula hadanallah. May yahdillahu fala mudhillalah wa may yudlil fala hadiyalah. Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah wa ashhadu anna Muhammadar Rasulullah. Allahumma shalli ala Muhammad wa ala ali Muhammad. The honorable our lecturer, Mr. Mr. Derek Sanderson, and uh, the honorable, our beloved friends. First of all, let's say, Alhamdulillah, or thanks to God Allah because he has given <coughs> us healthy and a chance to attend this class, even this is the uh, online class. And salawat and salam, Let's say to our uh, Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ala ali Muhammad. Well, uh, ladies and gentlemen, before we uh, start our presentation, let's invite uh, Mr. Budi Ut Utama to recite the character prayer. To uh, Mr. Budi, time is yours. Thank you. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, your friend, for the goodness, we pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Ya Allah, ikhlaskan hati kami untuk belajar karenamu. Jangan hanya untuk mengejar nilai, mendapat ijazah, mencari kerja. Mendapat uang banyak, berumah tangga, dapat anak dan cucu, lalu mati. Kami sadar hidup yang demikian sangatlah gersang dan menjadikan hidup kurang bermakna. Ya Allah, jadikan belajar kami menjadi ibadah, hindarkan kami dari datang terlambat. Belajar karena terpaksa, belajar karena ingin imbalan. Ya Allah. Hindarkanlah diri kami dari perbuatan melawan orang tua, melawan dosen, menceritai orang lain, atau gibah meremehkan teman, ataupun membuli dan mengejek teman. Ya Allah, gerakkan hati kami untuk menolong teman dan orang lain secara ikhlas tanpa mengharap imbalan. Jadikan persahabatan kami persahabatan yang loyal dan setia karenamu. Ya Allah, jadikan kami orang yang jujur, sabar, tidak iri, tidak dengki, tidak juga suka marah, tidak suka menyakiti hati orang, percaya diri, tidak mementingkan diri sendiri. Ya Allah, bagi kami yang muslim, khususnya ringankanlah hati kami untuk tetap melaksanakan sholat perintahmu. Sesungguhnya sholat itu penentu perbuatan baik lainnya. Ya Allah, doronglah kami untuk melaksanakan amalan harian, mingguna, mingguan, tahunan seperti yang dicontohkan oleh Baginda Rasul Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Bagi kami yang non muslim, doronglah kami untuk tetap melaksanakan ibadah sesuai dengan agama dan kepercayaan kami. Ya Allah, tumbuhkanlah dalam diri kami untuk selalu mau bersedekah terhadap orang lain. Tidak boros, mubazir, selalu bersih dan harum, dan berpakaian rapi. Perkenankanlah doa kami, sesungguhnya engkau maha mendengar, lagi maha melihat. Bilai Taufiq walidah, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Waalaikumsalam.
Um, yeah, before we start our uh, presentation, actually, we would like to introduce our team. The first one is uh, me, I'm Nur Alia, and then our teammates are Budi Utama and Eddie Zulfikar, and the last one is Erlina Wati. Well, uh, on this occasion, we would like to present our presentation. The title is The Strategies in Evaluating and Adapting Materials for Teaching uh, EFL. So, uh, for our first speaker, Mr. Adi Zulfikar, time is yours. <coughs> well, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Waalaikumsalam. Thank you, Nur Alia, uh, for the opportunity given to me to present the presentation today. So, before we start to the uh, the, the material, as the introduction is, our presentation of the day is referred to a journal that written by Rahimi, and he, in his journal entitled "What Do We Want Teaching Material for in." for in EFL teacher training programs. So the, the focus of his paper is to find out to find out more about teaching materials which best with the knowledge base of EFL teacher education so as to to discover the role of teaching material as source of knowledge and skill in EFL teacher training program. And then the second is to suggest some criteria to evaluate such material for their suitability and beneficiality. So uh, the traditionally teacher education has been characterized by a strong emphasis on theory being transferred to teachers in the form of lectures. Nearly all parts of teacher education program take place in University of Teacher Education Center and the only bridge to practice in observing teachers and practicing classroom teaching. So educational reform to form, reformulate the knowledge base of teacher education has thus focus on shift from learning about teaching to learning how to teach and from knowledge for teachers to teacher knowledge. So we can see to the first slide that the main learning goal for a such teacher training program is becoming a good teacher. So this is the main learning goal, uh, how to become a good teacher. And then Skep, Hope and Friends in 2006 believe that to produce good teachers, Teacher, edu teacher education program should prepare student teacher to able to, the first is master the content knowledge of the discipline they are specialized to teach. And then the second is to have skills and knowledge about teaching or learning in order to teach properly. And then the third is work in school context. And then, and then not, notice any shortcoming in their teaching and constantly try to improve it. And then the last is to take on a broader pedagogical and moral responsibility. So this is the main goal uh, for teacher education program, becoming a good teacher. And then uh, explain to the five points here, uh, probably, uh, uh, Pro, uh, that explained by scale in 2006. And then, ladies and gentlemen, so this focal point of teacher education becomes the collaboration between school and universities and balance between theoretical knowledge and practicing skills. The university provides student teachers with scientific concept and the, the schools support the direct learners participation in professional practice yeah. Yeah. collectively. On the basis of partnership between university and school, language teacher education educators have specified the knowledge competency base of the FL teacher education program. So here, Fred and Lee in 1998 and then Maureen in 1999, in, in 1990, 
the end and conclin in 1992 and have proposed a part a three party including so the term called as three party so the first is called as knowledge of language yeah knowledge of language so knowledge of language which cover about a uh, content knowledge and then knowledge of the subject matter and then english itself and then second is knowledge of science of teaching and pedagogy pedagogy and this this second point of three part uh, cover about pedagogical knowledge and the knowledge of generic teaching strategies beliefs and practice along with support knowledge the knowledge of the various discipline that will uh, that will sorry Uh, along with support knowledge, the knowledge of various discipline that would enrich teacher approach to the teaching and learning of English. And then the last of three parted here called as knowledge or competency uh, of teaching in, real, in reality. This point cover about pedagogical content knowledge and then the special knowledge of how to represent content knowledge in the classroom and how students come to understand the subject, the subject matter in the context of real teaching. The, student, the students' problems and ways to overcome those problems by considering all variables related to their learning, teaching material, assessment, procedures, parents, and so on. And then to establish the knowledge competency base different types of teaching material are used in teacher training program. Teaching material is general mean any systemic description of the techniques and activities to be used in classroom teaching and include various experiences and activities by which or as a result of which the teacher learner develop knowledge of the profession. So, in accordance with the defined knowledge competency base of EFL teacher training program within partnership framework, the world teaching preparation program is designed in three components. So three components here in teaching preparation program. The, fall, the first is called as language component, and then the second is science component, and then the third is practicum component. I repeat once more, the component in teaching in teaching preparation program is designed in three components. The first is language component, and then the second is science component, and then and then the third is and then the third is practicum component. Uh, well, let's discuss about the first component called as language component. So the language component just aims at improving the content knowledge. For example, students teacher general knowledge of English or their communic communicative competence. The course over here focus on developing teacher learners English language proficiency, course and listening comprehension, conversation, writing, reading, vocabulary and idioms, grammar and pronunciation, or providing insight into Western culture, literature course. To attain such goal to type of teaching materials can be used. Teacher made teaching materials such as photocopied uh, pamphlets, drama and games, or commerciality prepared materials like textbooks, audio, video tapes, educational software, software, and etc. These teaching materials serve the following purpose, uh, according to Canning's in 1990. Five, page seven, a source for presentation material written and spoken, and then a sort of activities for learner practice and communicative interaction, and then a reference source for learners on grammar, vocabulary, pronunciation, and so on, a source of stimulation and ideas for classroom activities, and then the last is a syllabus where they, left, they reflect learning objectives that have already been determined. 
And then the second is science components. When we are discussed about this second component, so the content of scientific information is conventionally given to student teacher, to lecturers, reading or Man. discussion. Generally, the reading are provided or mostly in the form or pamphlet or handout and content summarize of important point. The content of scientific information can also be found in scientifically pre prepared reading material such as journal, reference book, and textbook. And then the last is practicum component. Uh, from a practical perspective, if you have a teacher, teachers have to acquire proper skill and knowledge to learn how to teach in real context. The school setting learning to participate in the social and cultural practice with regard to education is assigned to be crucial for developing a professional identified identity as a teacher. In this component, this focus of development and expansion of practical knowledge of schools through observation, socialization, and interaction. So when we discuss about material evaluation in the FL teacher training for the first component is related to, to the material that uh, make uh, to with uh, by the teacher or by the minister, the, by, by the ministry, like a textbook. And then we're talking about practicum components uh, is discussed about uh, the, the process of uh, uh, practical in the classroom. So the teacher and the student can uh, practice about the, their knowledge related to the material. That's about my presentation and will be continued to the, the next presenter. And I'll give uh, this opportunity and the screen to the moderator. Thank you. Well, thanks for uh, the first present presenter, Mr. Eddie Zubikar. So uh, the next presentation will be uh, presented by the second presenter. Please, time is yours, Ms. Erlina Wati. Yeah. Okay, thank you for the moderator, um, Mem Nur Alia and the group for the time to for the time for me to present our next material. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, there is uh, some principles uh, of the material evaluation reviews, uh, which is the basis of the criteria. The principles of material evaluative reviews according to Cortegan, Logan, and Russell, uh, 2006. There is uh, seven principles of material evaluative reviews. First is principle one, learning about teaching involves continuously conflicting and competing demands, both theory and practice. And the second is learning about teaching requires a view of knowledge as a subject to be created rather than as a created subject. Next, principle three is learning about teaching requires a shift in focus from the curriculum to the learner. Principle four, learning about teaching is in hedge drug student teacher research. Uh, Principle five, learning about teaching requires an emphasis on those learning to teach working, to teach working closely with their peers. And then principle six, learning about teaching requires meaningful relationships between schools, universities, and student teachers. And the last is learning about teaching is enhanced when the teaching and learning approaches advocated in the program are modeled by the teacher indicators in their own practice. So uh, it, it, they are the principles of material evaluate reviews and there are 
seven principles of material evaluated reviews according to Cortegen, Logan, and Russell. Now, uh, there is four main topics of materials evaluation or selection according to Rahimi. Uh, there is four main topics or uh, the rules to the rules to evaluate or selection materials in the, uh, for the teacher for the teacher for is aims and objectives of english foreign language teachers training program with regard to the knowledge and competency base second student teachers role cultural issues and teacher trainers roles Okay, uh, the aim of objective, sorry. Okay, uh, the aim of objective of English for language teachers training programs the, or the knowledge co competence base, there is through princip two principles. Principle one, teaching material should focus on both theory and practice. So every uh, teacher should now the theory about the materials and practice the material to the students. Second is teaching material should let learners construct the knowledge by theory creating processes. Uh, this, it, this term is the material should uh, contact the learners about the theory uh, creating processes related to the some uh, related to the material teaching teach in the class. Next, Mr. Eddie. Okay, now students teachers' roles. Uh, student teacher roles have three principles. All uh, there is three rules for the student teachers in the giving the material. First, teaching material should consider an active role for student teachers. And then teaching material should provide learners with opportunities for self-researching and researching on teaching issues. The last is teaching material should support collaborative peer coaching, learning, or teaching. Okay, next. Now, uh, the third is cultural issues. There is uh, just one principle. Teaching material should place a strong emphasis on contextual factors of the local cultures. The last is teacher trainer's role. Uh, there is also uh, has one principle uh, that is teaching material should provide a opportunities for teach trainers for educational purposes in their teachings. Okay, next, Mr. Eddy. Okay, thank you. Uh, it is our presentation. Uh, and then the time, uh, the next is uh, back to the moderator. Thank you. Yeah, well, that's all our presentation. And now we are opening the discussion, <clears throat> the question and answer discussion. Who wants to give, who wants to deliver the questions? Time is yours. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Ya, assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Uh, first of all, I want to appreciate uh, your team to that you make a very, uh, very good presentation and also the explanation also uh, um, very well prepared and here. Uh, I want to ask you a question related Excuse to the... Excuse me. Excuse uh, me, uh, Miss. Uh, can you mention your yes. name first, yes. please? 
I'm I'm Melly Lestari. Yes. Yeah. Yes, please. Um, thank you. So, uh, I there uh, you you put one information. Uh, the it's like a quotation from Kurt Hagen and Lohren. It's seven principles of uh, professional language among teachers, education, educators. So uh, in the first principle, uh, there is some statement uh, that learning about teaching involves continuously conflicting and competing demands, both theory and practice. So uh, maybe I, I want to know uh, your point of view from this group on how conflict can develop teachers' ability among uh, educators and what kind of conflicts that uh, continuously, it, it mentioned that continuously uh, can also make uh, continuously a conflict can, can develop uh, teachers' competency. So, I think that the both thing that I want to I want to hear more about about it. Thank you. Thank you in advance. Assalamualaikum. Thank you. Belum kan? Makan. Well, everybody, we are going to the next questioner. Who wants to give the question? Time is yours. Okay, can you hear me? Oh, my name is Fahmi yes. Al-Fadi. What's your name? Uh, sir, excuse my, me. My, my name is Fahmi, Fahmi Al-Fadi. Oh, yes. Fahmi, Mr. Fahmi. Okay, Mr. Okay, my question is, uh, how important learning English for children? I mean, I mean it with kids. As we know that uh, there are some schools, I mean the kindergarten schools, uh, but they have labeled international kindergarten school. Uh, how important exactly learning English for children, as we know that English is a foreign language, and how to prepare the teacher competence to teach that their students, and you know that the student is kindergarten level. Can you get it, the point is? Yes, uh, okay, I repeat once more your, your questions. The first one is how important learning English for the children, is it right? Uh, and the second one, what? Can you continue? And the second one is how to prepare the teacher competence to competency to teach uh, the children, is it right? Yes, especially for kindergarten level school. Yes, okay. kindergarten level. Thank you. Thank you, Miss. Yes. <clears throat> well, everyone, uh, in here, I would like to answer the question for from Mr. Fami. Okay, the question is how important, how important learning English for the children? Yes. <clears throat> um, Alhamdulillah, uh, actually I want to, at the first one, I want to tell about my experience. Um, in Rando Rapat, I opened, I uh, established a course especially for the children and the kindergarten. Actually, um, it is very important. Yes, it is uh, very important to teach uh, English for the kindergarten. Yes, because they are uh, the, the good learner. 
uh, when they study uh, when they are young. Yes. Even though uh, our government um, delete the English subject um, in primary school or I mean elementary school, but it is not. Uh, it doesn't make us um, to stop our. Uh, uh, I mean to stop the children or the kindergarten to study English because when um, the the children <coughs> enters to the um, junior high school, yes, I teach in junior junior high school. I found out there are so many students uh, don't like to speak English, don't like to study English. Uh, the reason is just one because they don't know about English. Why they don't know about English? Because, because they don't study about English when they are young. So I think it's very important uh, to teach English for the uh, children. And the second one is how to prepare the, the teacher competency uh, in teaching for the kindergarten level. Um, yes, actually I have an experience when we teach English, to um, the kindergarten level, actually don't push them to write, to read. But at the first competency that we should, um, uh, I mean that like uh, introduce them is listen by audio and watch the video about English. Yes, we uh, search uh, so many source sources of English from YouTube and uh, application, uh, online application. And uh, there are so many uh, teaching aids uh, that we can use to teach um, kindergarten because kindergarten is uh, different with the um, primary student or elementary students because in kindergarten, they are playing, they, they are playing yeah. Jadi belaj uh, bermain sambil belajar. Konsepnya bermain sambil belajar. So, uh, jadi anak-anak ini so uh, the the kindergarten level they like like uh, mereka suka <coughs> I mean that look at watch uh, there is uh, object. Jadi mereka suka sesuatu yang uh, ada bendanya. If you like for example, if you study about the fruits, you have to uh, Bring the real fruits. Yes, if you want to study about the fruits, for example, apples. Jadi, you harus bawakan uh, apple. Misalnya, like an apple. And then, rasanya seperti apa? Mereka benar-benar harus merasanya. It's different when you start, when you teach uh, in junior or uh, senior high school. Yeah, jadi rasanya seperti apa, bentuknya seperti apa, di mana dibeli, uh, like that. So, we, we have to... Um, prepare the teaching aids to um, to teach the kindergarten level. I think like that. Okay, Mr. Farmi. Okay, thank you, Miss. Um, we are going to the next question, Mr. Meli Lestari. <clears throat> the question is how Conflict can involve. How conflict can involve? Is it true? Learning can involve. Yes. How conflict can involve in teachers' development in, in among teacher, others in among the, uh, And the second one yeah, is also, what kind of conflict? What kind of yeah. conflict? Yes, continuously. Yes. Yeah, that's right. In teaching. Okay, for answering this question, we invite Mr. Eddie. So, Mr. Eddie, thank you. Erlina, do lah, Mem Erlina. I think this is one of the conflict, right? Okay. Ma'am Erlina, yes. 
the question is about the principles. The, the, the first principles, how conflict can involve the teacher's development. And the second one is what kind of conflict continuously in teacher's development. Okay, Ma'am Arena, time is yours. Ya, Pak. Ya, ya. Mr. Eddie, can you share again our uh, PPT? Okay, wait a minute, please. Menurut Raleigh, maybe uh, 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 we 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 can uh, invite another questioner when we uh, search about the the explanation about the male question. I think. Yeah. Well, thank you. Um, well, guys, this is your time to give the question. Time is yours. Please, we invite you, ladies and gentlemen, to give the question. I think I'm a question here. So I, I will try to answer the the main question related to the principle, the first principle uh, that explained by Carthagen, Legrand, and Russell in 2006. In 2006, 
So the principle said that learning about teaching involves continuously conflicting and competing demands, both theory and practice. So when we discuss about uh, the seven principle that explained by Cortagen, Logan, and Russell in 2006, so the 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 basic of these principles is to to make a program and and practical for the the teacher education by uh, use a ways the the responsive ways to the herbs and then the needs and the practic uh, practicum uh, related to the the teacher and the students so uh, related to the the the, the first principle that learning about teaching involves continuously conflicting and competing demands both theory and practice. So in my opinion, so maybe our professor will make the deep explanation next when we make uh, when I, I make a mistake about my answer. So this is about uh, sorry, sometimes when we we talking about uh, about the learning teaching process in the classroom. Yeah, uh, this is about how to make a uh, balancing between uh, activity in the in the classroom related to the theory theory has uh, that given by the teacher and about the practicum activity in the outside of the classroom. So sometimes a teacher, yeah, especially uh, English foreign language teacher, English teacher, yeah, only teach the student about the theory, about about the theory, but is a peri uh, rarely how to practice about the theory in the daily life, on the in the practicum activity. For example, when teacher. Uh, when teacher teach about uh, about conversation in the classroom, about conversation in the classroom uh, related to the theory, how to how to make a good conversation and how to uh, how to become a, a good public speaker. So the teacher gives a uh, uh, a lot of theories related to the conversation and then about the how to to be a good public speaker, but in the other hand, the teacher not give a, an opportunity or chance to the students to practice related the, uh, to the theory that has given in the classroom. So sometimes like a, a, a guru olahraga misalkan ya, sports teacher in the in the in, in the in the school usually give, only give uh, sorry make the student only practice about usually uh, play volleyball uh, tapi tidak dikasih teorinya gitu so in this principle the first principle how to make uh, how the teacher can make a balancing to the theories and 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 practic and practicum to improve the student's ability about the material that's all i think please uh, mr budi mem erlina and mem nur alia to make additional answer questions thank you Excuse well, me. Yep. Yeah, well, I think it's uh, a good answer. Okay. <clears throat> we are going to the next question. And excuse me, why why did the the text is rather different from the original one there? For example, principle one mm -hmm. in the text that in the text that I gave you uh, last week. Yes. The so. Principle one says 
teaching material should focus on both theory and practice. This is more simple. Teaching material should focus this one, on sir. both this one, sir. theory and yeah? This one, sir. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. The, the, this one. Why, why? This is uh, what according is to Rahimi, sir. But this one, uh, according to different experts, sir. and Logan and Russell. So different expert, I think, sir. Hmm. Yeah. yeah. So the presentation is from different experts. Okay, but here. Uh, it seems that it's difficult. Uh, it's easy to. It's more simple rather than uh, what you wrote on the slides. There, this is simple teaching materials. To focus on theory, on and, theory and practice. Uh, yeah. Well, you know that when you teach, mm -hmm. when you teach uh, English materials, uh, you have to connect. You you have to connect what theory says about the materials and how you teach that material. Yeah. Uh, you do. Do you remember one of the theory in teaching the English material? For example, do you still remember the theory? Who remember one theory? Like behaviorism, like that. Yeah. Do you remember one theory? For example, uh, behaviorism theory. You still remember last time about behaviorism theory? Yes, sir. Uh, it's like innatism. Behaviorism. Yes, sir. Behaviorism is uh, like oh. imitation. Yeah, imitation. From others. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah. For example, if 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 you teach the student through imitation, for example, if mm -hmm. you teach materials through imitations, what is the effect uh, of the material on the students? If the okay, sir, if the theory we use in uh, pronunciation, I think uh, the students will get the point. Yeah. So, okay, if you teach pronunciation mm -hmm. through imitation, it is more accurate. Yeah. Yes. It effective. is more accurate. Mm -hmm. Accurate. Yeah. Effective because they should. Uh, they sh they need a model, yeah. Yes, they need sir. a model from the teacher. They need a model from the teacher, and the student should imitate the teacher's uh, pronunciations. Because if they don't imitate the teachers, they uh they will difficult to, yeah, to to Pronounce improve well. their mm -hmm. pronunciation. So. Imitation here is a theory. Imitation here is a theory. While the practice is what you should do in the classroom. What you should do in the classroom. So between theory of imitation and what you implement in the classroom is relevant. Yeah, is relevant. Uh, now, in this case, many teachers, many teachers, uh, uh, do not pay attention to this. They just 
teach their students whatever they want to teach. Yeah. Okay. I would like to, to teach pronunciation. I ask the students to repeat again and again. Yeah. Not because of the theory. The teacher teach the students because uh, they uh, imitate their teachers long time ago what they did in the classroom not based on the theory yeah now in other words a teacher should realize a teacher should realize what theory is still uh, yeah is still exists or what theory is still discussions in the level of concept yeah now so as a teacher as a teacher uh, you have to be um, yeah you have to consider yeah you have to consider the theory when teaching the materials now this this is the example of a uh, teaching material should focus on theory and practice yeah yes sir. okay uh -huh. now better uh, you you have to to explain clearly about this, because if you don't explain it, now this principle is cannot be understood uh, comprehensively. Okay. Okay. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Do you have a uh, any more questions about this principle? So, <clears throat> I have a question. Yeah. Um, as a teacher, yes, when we um, want to teach the material to our students, uh, should I or should we uh, use the theory in every material so sometimes um, the teacher always teach a uh, use the lesson plan but without the theory what do you think about this sir yeah okay when you uh, make your lesson plan yeah before you make your lesson plan, you have to read theory. Don't write lesson plan without connecting with the theory. Okay? Because your lesson plan, whatever you describe, whatever you write in the lesson plan, yeah should be based on the theory mm. yeah what what theory is still what uh, what what theory is new for example what theory is still up to date in teaching this mm. yeah yeah yes, the teacher should care the teacher should care much on the theory don't teach you know without theory you are blank about the theory now this is dangerous yeah this is dangerous your students will not have uh, yeah uh, up-to-date knowledge 
when you don't teach based on the theory. Yeah, practice without theory. Yeah, uh, make your students are are not developing. Yeah, and uh, are not. Uh, you, you cannot enhance their knowledge. Yeah. Especially up to date knowledge. So, uh, yeah, we realize that many teachers do not care sometimes with the theory in teaching. Yeah. They, uh, yeah. Most of them sometimes, you know, uh, yeah, you, you, they are feeling, yeah, they are feeling in teaching, not start from the theory. Now, uh, we have, for example, beside, beside uh, behaviorism, we have Inetism. Another theory mm -hmm. that we call it innatism, right? Uh, innatism. innatism. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It is different from uh, behaviorism. Yeah. For example, if you teach speaking, for example, how can the students create? utterances unlimited now you can use this innatism theory yeah okay uh, and not only use using one theory you can combine between behaviorism and innatism at the same time for example when you teach speaking or conversation for example when the students find difficulties in pronouncing a certain word now you can use behaviorism imitation now, when the students, when you ask the students to create more utterances, yeah, to create more utterances through practicing, for example, in front of the class or in pairs, you need innatism theory. Yeah. And even you can also apply constructivism at the same time. So when you teach, uh, you do not only need one theory. Sometimes you use several theory together yeah? in teaching English. Not only one theory. Yeah. Not only sometimes not only one techniques. You can use presentation. Okay. You can use also, uh, for example, discussion. Yeah. Or role play. So at the same time, you can use several techniques in teaching English. Yeah. So th that that is uh, yeah. How to understand this principle? Okay. Thank you. Do you have uh, different uh, questions, please?
So, may I give yeah. the question again? Okay. Uh, as my experience, before I teach the students, I always find out the fun learning on YouTube. So, uh, mm. when I found it, oh, this is the fun learning. Actually, I want to make the different strategy in learning, teaching and learning activities. So should I like uh, uh, find out which one is the, uh, I mean, uh, the sweet table uh, theory for this fun learning or fun um, activities? So, so. Okay. So the first step that you should do is, mm -hmm. What is, the, what is the aim? What is the aim of your teaching? What is the objective of your teaching? Oh, the goal is, uh, mm -hmm. the aim. Yeah, that, that is the main point that you should mm -hmm. consider. Mm -hmm. Okay, what is your uh, main, main objective? Why do you choose you to, that YouTube? To achieve what objective is it? Uh, for example, the goal is the student can tell about their daily activities well. Yeah, uh, okay, telling their daily activities. Uh, what, for, what, what for do they tell their activities? What for? That is the meaning of objective. What for they tell the uh, what for do they have a skill to tell the activities? What for? For uh, practicing speaking, sir. speaking. No, to achieve in what? To achieve what? To achieve what skill, for example? Speaking. Now, uh, as, as, as I mentioned several weeks ago we don't we do not teach only knowledge right but we also teach skill to the students we we also teach emotion to the student and we also teach spirituality to the student So, what is the purpose of using YouTube to teach what, uh, what, what competency, what knowledge, what objective you use? So, you have to consider this. And then after uh, you consider the objective, okay, the competency, yeah then you have to determine the material not only taking the material without considering what competency you would like to give to the student the material is only uh let's say uh, a tool, yeah? Material is only a tool to achieve the goal, to achieve the objectives, to achieve the aim. So that's why many teachers sometimes just take the materials and then they teach this material to the students, not starting from the objective. Okay, so uh, before choosing the YouTube, uh, you have to check again what kind of uh, competency or objective 
you would like to achieve? Yeah, what kind of it's competency me, the students to achieve? Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, I think it's it's relevant with your explanation just now, sir. Mm -hmm. uh, in their uh, presentation, maybe you can show the slide number two. Yeah. Uh, there, there is a statement mm -hmm. that uh, quoted from Shellfold at 2006. Mm -hmm. In the point number three, work in school context. Yeah. 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 So um, as you say just now, uh, in maybe uh, uh, Miss Nuralia mentioned that uh, her experience in learning or teaching English in course, right? Mm -hmm. uh, Miss Nuralia in course, yes. Uh, I also uh, teach in uh, in course. So uh, not only uh, not with, only in, uh, in course, but also at school. Yes, I'm a teacher at school too. Yeah, mm -hmm. but uh, however, it is quite different. Um, mm -hmm. How the method uh, when we I also. Uh, have experience in both area in schools and in course. Uh, the method, the methodology that we we use in, in both area is quite different. Where in school, of course, we have uh, we have very um, uh, let's say it's a strict it's a strict um, material that we already arrange before we start the lesson and everything. But in course. It is like, okay, um, we practice the speaking and, and also how they, they structure. And I think it's, it's mostly just uh, behaviorism theory there in the course, uh, based on my opinion. So uh, is it, is it uh, influence on, on maybe re re uh, relate it with uh, the quotation of the slide number two, uh, how how it can the objective also quite different, sir, in course yeah. in English course and in uh, English lesson in school. So uh, what I want to say is, uh, is it is it make any different on uh, how we find the, the objective and also the, the way we, uh, we deliver the, the lesson. Okay, yes. Uh, that's why before you teach, you have to know the student need. That's number one. What is the student need? And after knowing the student needs, then you have to determine the competency to achieve the needs. Yeah, the competency to achieve the needs. For example, uh, students in, let's say, students in Danau Toba area, for example, students live in Raya, what is actually the need? Tourism. Tourism. Yeah. Okay. They need how to guide the tourists, right? How to guide the tourists. So, their, comp their competency should be speaking the strategy. Um to guide tourists. Now, uh, how, how to guide tourists is what skill they should know. First, they should, they should know to speaking with the, for, uh, with the native speaker. 
daily in daily life that it is first competence you should give the students a, a simple expression how to please how to please the native speaker how to offer something to the native speaker how to sell something to the native speaker yeah how to say hello yeah uh, greeting how to greet them now this is what i mean by the competency yeah the competency so based on the need you determine the competency or the skill that they should achieve that the student achieve and after that now you have to determine what theory to make the students easier yeah to uh, to 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 greet for example to greet the native speaker or to greet the tourist what strategy now you have to relate to the theory again yeah now this is the step so you determine the need the second you you have to yeah decide the competency to achieve the need and then you have to implement your teaching process based on the theory so this is three step that the teachers should do in teaching english yeah so what you mentioned just now in in a context yes should be in context yeah yeah of course different school different context different places different context yeah i think that that is what we should do as a teachers you have a a, a guide in teaching yeah english okay any comment no sir yeah uh right uh i would i would like you to evaluate to evaluate teaching materials please evaluate teaching materials that you use in your classroom only one teaching material once again please evaluate one teaching materials that you use in the classroom um, only one material sir or only one meeting? one material only mm -hmm. one meeting uh, you okay. should evaluate based on this seven principle yeah you should evaluate based on this seven principle seven principle based on uh, yes yeah, uh, yeah this one uh, principle one teaching should focus on both theory and practice hmm. do you already hmm. huh? design your teaching material based on theory and practice for example oh, oh. Uh, huh? yeah yeah. Evaluate evaluation. It means that we have we have made 
uh, material. Thank you. 